Ladies and gentlemen, it's Robert Rozelle, Fish Bob. I'm out here fishing on Jewel Lake today. Uh, we've been catching, I've been catching quite a bit of fish today. And so I decided to turn my camera on. That way uh, you can see a little bit of the action that I've been catching. And, uh, Let's see, maybe I have to put the camera up a little bit higher than that. But, uh, as you can see, yeah, that's probably a bad idea. I'm trying to find a place I cut the camera, guys. Where you guys can all see it also. You know. There we go, that might work. Yeah, there we go. Um, just fishing with uh, my pickle stick, 13 fishing. This is a little free fall reel. Just dropping it down to the bottom and I'm already getting bit. Wow. I just dropped it back down there again. I've, I've been catching a lot of fish, guys. And, uh, Using raw shrimp and a heater on here, nice and toasty. Just a bag of raw shrimp and a chartreuse tube jig. Oh, we missed them. There we go, there we go, there we go. Come on, take it. Take it, take it. Definitely playing with it down there. You can hear I got a fish on the ice right now. Not quite a few today. Here we go. Oh, missed them. Let's see here. So today's fishing. I've been catching most of my fish on my pickle stick rod, which is this green rod that we're holding now. And fishing pressure out here on this side of the lake hasn't been too bad, but it's definitely fish. There we go, there's a bite. Come on, take it, take it. There he is, we got him. Got him, coach. Got him, coach. Got him, coach. Oh, it's a big one. No, I'm just kidding. Oh, that's a nice fish, though, guys. It is a nice fish. Look at her. Nice little landlocked salmon on that chartreuse tube jig. Six pound P line. 13 fishing free fall. Can't get any better than that, man. Uh, tube jig tipped up with shrimp. And, uh, yeah. It's just been working really good. Sounds like there's a field trip around me here. It's pretty loud and noisy. Anyways, I'm just dropping back down to the bottom. I had two eagles out here on the lake this morning that I that I saw earlier. And I was fishing outside the tent. But I decided to come back inside the tent because it was a little bit cold outside. Figured I'd stay a little bit warmer in here and just fish with shrimp right here and I'd it's proven me since. Just stay right here and use your bait and catch fish. So, uh, make sure that you comment below what 
What's your favorite way to catch these fish? Because my favorite way to catch these fish is normally using spoons and just jigging it above the bottom. My favorite spoon to catch fish in these lakes has always been the Thomas Buoyant Spoon. When I first used one of those spoons, I caught rainbow trout, I swear, every cast. And it was just amazing. And I've not really had the same success with anything else. And I've used cast masters, little Cleos, um, you name it, buzz bums, um, daredevil spoons, crocodile spoons, cast masters, you name it, man. I've used it all. It's just I haven't had that success like I did when the Thomas Point spoons. And normally when I use Thomas Point spoons, I just you can open them up straight out of the package and cast them. Or drop it down the ice hole and jig them. There's a good bite. Here we go. There's a fish, guys. Fish on. Fish on, guys. Fish on. Let's see here. There's a fish. There's a fish. Come on. Oh, yeah. He's fighting good now. There he goes. Whoa, whoa. Taking drag. Taking drag. Whoa, he's taking drag. Uh oh. Oh, guys, I think that's a big fish. I think that's a big fish. Whoa, whoa, he wants to pull drag. Whoa, there he is. Oh, that's a nice fish. That's a nice fish, guys. That's a really nice landlocked salmon. Now, tube jig. There it is for you. Landlocked salmon. For those that don't know what landlocked salmon is, it's a little Chinooks, well, a little salmon that was raised in the hatchery. And uh, they don't go out to sea. They just get stocked into a lake. And they don't grow much bigger than this. Or up to, they do get up to 20 inches, however. But uh, they really don't grow much bigger than that. I mean, I did, catch a nice one this is one that we caught earlier hang on i feel stop squirming this is a nice one that i caught earlier reason i'm keeping a few today is i have an elder that whenever i go fishing she always wants me to keep a few fish for her and so i'm, I'm gonna keep a few for her today and that's what I've been doing. Caught a few, let a few go. Not being greedy and keeping them all, you know, because there are some unfortunate anglers out there that will literally keep everything in the lake, and that's just unfortunate. But if you know me, you know me. I'm not greedy with fish, you know. I catch mine and I go and. Or I just catch and release, you know. But I don't spend 12 hours cleaning out the lake, you know. I mean, that's just, that's just unfortunate. I've only been out here for about two and a half, three hours now. And I've probably caught, I want to say probably at least 20 fish. 25 maybe, 30. Probably close to 30 fish. And... With that, you know, I've released them. Only kept a few, so. See if they're still interested in that piece of chunk bait. Piece of cut bait. That's what we call it uh, in Carolina. We call it cut bait or scrimp, shrimp. Tell you what, guys, I do miss fishing in Carolina. That was some of the best fishing I've ever fished. And, uh, today's rod is, a uh, Tickle Stick 27-inch Ultralight. I have it spooled up 6-pound P-Line. 6-pound P-Line. This P-Line stuff is 
It's never letting me down. I've had fish break knots before breaking the line. Key line is just, from my experiences, it's been the best out there. At least for fresh water purposes. I've, I don't believe I've used key line for salt water. Usually for salt water, I'm usually using braided line, but for fresh water, for salmon, for anything from king salmon to these smaller landlocked salmon, I've used pea line. And pea line has never laid me a strain. So shout out to pea line. I'm not sponsored with them, but hey, pea line, if you're watching this, go ahead and sponsor me. That would be great. You can get my email, robertrozell7 at gmail.com. Email me, comment. Um, yeah. Here, fishy, 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 is what they say. And then they go, bink, 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 fish on. I sort of wonder if the fish, fishing uh, died over here now. I haven't gotten a bite in a while. Who knows? Maybe we'll put on a spoon, guys. What do you think? I got a nasty piece of shrimp on there, and he don't want he don't want anything to do with that. So I'm gonna go back to the old spoon rod, but this time I want to put on a different color. I got a little pocket sized taco box too. It's got about everything that I would need for ice fishing. But uh, I'm just gonna throw in another different color spoon and uh, hope it works. Wish me luck, guys. So here you go, just another Thomas Buoyant spoon. As you can see there, that's a Thomas Buoyant. Probably can't see that well, but there it is right here. One fourth ounce. You can buy them anywhere from Walmart to Bass Pro. Red Myers carries them, Cabela's. That's about it, and uh, also online. But yeah. Definitely check them out. One six ounce to one fourth ounce size. One six ounce being the smaller size, one fourth ounce being the bigger size that we're using today. And uh, this spoon has just, it's done great for me. I almost never had a bad day using this spoon of, whether it's fish, I've, I've caught them on, 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 this, on these spoons. Not always the same color, but I've definitely caught in fish. And today's water is a little bit murky today. So I was just really surprised that that silver and blue would still pick up and there was a fish. There's a fish, guys. We got him. Fish on. Oh, nice big salmon, guys. Big, big salmon. Big salmon, wow, big hog. Big hog, look at him, big hog. That's a monster salmon. Wow, guys, that's a big, that's a big salmon, wow. Nice big chunker on that spoon. And uh, like I always say, you're more than likely to catch your bigger fish on lures, ice fishing. If you want to stay consistent and catch bigger fish, pick up some Thomas Boyne spoons, pick up some Pro Cure Super Gel, and start fishing. And man, I tell you what, that, that fish that bit that spoon, he hit it really hard. It was like, bam, 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 bam. So 
Yeah, we're just jigging on the bottom, you know. Waiting for them to come bite. I think I'm on the bottom. Let me see. Oh, there we go. Now we're going down to the bottom. There we go. That's the strike zone. See, a lot of times... There's another fish, guys. Wow, I got something nice. something big oh I lost them that was a big fish guys oh my oh my fish that that was big come on do I already have a bite check out that drag a little bit again who knows maybe I had the drag too loose that was a big fish guys I mean, I just set the hook and I just felt weight and I, I couldn't move it. I know there's big fish in here, 20 plus inch rainbows, probably even landlocked salmon that are 20 inch plus. You never know. It's a big enough lake though to hold them that size. The deepest point in this lake is 12 feet. So, yep. High tech ice sense. Let's read that. High tech ice sense. All it is just a little wax worm. You know. So I'm just gonna put on two of those on there. And maybe I should put on a little bit of that Pro Cure Super Gel. And uh, I will see. Wow, these ones have their own scent to them. Let's go ahead and try it first. There's the bottom right there. Yeah, so today's fishing has been, I gotta say, that's been a little bit of on and off, you know? Like they're biting one minute, the next few minutes they shut down and then they turn on again and they start biting and then they shut off again. But that's just, that just goes to show you uh, what ice fishing can be about. I mean, one minute you're slaying them Five minutes later and it's dead, you know? So, sometimes you can stick it out, you know, and it'll come back and bite. Other times you, you just have to move, move spots and location, you know? Because a lot of times they will move on you. Other times they just, 
they're just not interested in what you what you have to throw down there and you have to be consistent with these fish you have to find out what they want and when they want it and just experiment there's not always going to be one one specific lure that's going to work all the time so a lot of times these fish will surprise you and not bite something but the next day is they're, they're only going to want that one but you just have to find out what they want on that day i'm going to go back to that little light led light dodger it's a big chunk of shrimp i'm going to put that whole shrimp down there no i'm kidding guys Here we go, little chunk of shrimp, LED light, going down to the bottom. Here we go. Bing, 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 dinner bell. More like lunch bell for them. I guess it's lunch time for them, so we'll see. There we go, I'm getting bite. There we go, there we go. There's a fish. Fish on, guys. How about that? Fish on. Fish on, let him go. See what I mean? Sometimes they, they just want to stick to that shrimp. And I'm telling you that that LED light that I have on here it works really well. You can't see it right now, but it's water activated. As soon as it hits the water, completely submerged, it just blinks red and green. And the fish seem to be attracted to that, to that little flash of light blinking. And then with that shrimp right below it, it turns them on. Are they plowing out there? They out there doing the roads. Nice. And, uh, like I said, if you haven't seen the other two videos, I'm fishing at Jewel Lake, and they just stocked it with 5,000 landlocked salmon. And so that's why we've been catching so many. We just stocked them with 5,000 landlock salmon. And so... The fishing has been great. You know? There we go. Now we're getting a bite. Hmm. Maybe their breakfast is over. I think so too. What do you think, guys? Did you guys say the breakfast bite's over? I mean, man. They were feeding heavy earlier on that shrimp. And if you're questioning what I'm drinking today, I'm drinking a Powerade. Melon flavor. Melon. And I have that power, man. Stay hydrated. And uh, why not stay hydrated with a little bit of flavor? Yes, water is better for you, by the way. But I'm a little bit more of a pickier person. I don't like power raid. So that's why I chose the power raid. Am I getting a bite? I wonder what is going on down there. Yep, now I'm getting a bite. There we go, now come on. There he is, there he is, there he is. Come on, take it, take it, take it. Uh, there he goes, playing with it. Man, these fish are just being real stubborn right now, aren't they? Go ahead now. 
open up that back side on. Yeah, that's probably gonna blind you guys a little bit on the on the light situation right there. I think right here is good. Well, guys, since it's been so slow, only caught a few on film today. At least on this video. But, uh, just, uh, please like and subscribe. Um, I really appreciate you guys watching my videos. And thanks for all the support, guys. Like and subscribe. Share it, watch it, show your friends, show your families. Um, this was fishing at Jewel Lake today. Like I said, it's sometimes hot, sometimes it's down. That's just to show you what fishing at Jewel Lake here in the Anchorage Bowl is about. Is you'll catch nice fish, you'll catch little fish, but the average fish in the Anchorage Bowl is not much bigger than your hand. Not much bigger, but you get the idea. There's big fish, little fish, three fish, blue fish, you name it. Anyways, thank you for watching this video today. Um, stay tuned. We'll make some more, more film next week. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. And always fish on, guys. Thank you.